when I saw myself in the mirror today at the gym, I nearly burst into tears. And then I noticed myself again during a Pilates class. And I nearly burst into tears again. Here's why. It was not because I looked at myself and these negative words came through. It was because I looked at myself and it shocked me because I didn't recognise me. But what I mean by that is I saw this lean body, these mus these like muscles coming through. And I've been doing it in a really like playfully led way. I've been doing it because I've wanted to move energy around my body. It doesn't matter how I look. Um, I haven't been restricting food. I've been eating what I've wanted to. And when I saw myself in that mirror, I was so overwhelmed with the realisation that all those horrific feelings and thoughts I'd had for so many years about me have disappeared. And as I walked out of the bathroom, that's the first time I saw myself in the mirror there today, I was like, oh, <laughs> so I was trying to like just what on earth's gone on because this person I used to visualize in the future is now coming into fruition I start walking up the stairs and this woman who I've not had a conversation with before is like oh there's the dancing queen and I'm like ah. <laughs> now this woman's obviously seen me in dance classes and naturally thinks that's it's easy for me right she has no clue that I was bed bound for years organ failure and so much pain I couldn't even properly hold my head up, right? My my spine was in such pain. I had to remind myself how to walk again because my neural pathways are just... There wasn't enough energy and fuel in my body for my body to do it without thinking about it, right? So all these things were popping up through the gym as I was walking through to go to a class. And the reason I'm sharing this is because our identities and how we see ourselves are merely velcroed on they're not super glued on and you can remove them now yes if they're really deeply ingrained and they're painful and you can't even look at yourself in the mirror and I've been there it takes time but if you want to know how to shift these labels check out the podcast episode four season four episode three with Zach Dixon where he's talking about just that how you can achieve what you believe you can be and how you can shift your identity because this i only used to be able to do this through water fasting so to see this now by just being me has appeared this all works in a compounded way it works hang in there <laughs>